Hello and welcome to HobbyKing.com. My name is Stuart and I'm here to present to you a tips bench. There's the bench. Tuesday and it's on an item that you probably all know and love very very well but in its usual form and this is the item. This is the Turner G uh, servo tester. We have several but this is the one I'll be using for the purpose of this video. Now the uh, servo tester or a servo tester is very good for testing servos as you can see in this footage that we've got playing here. You would plug in your four to five cell nickel metal hydride and you use it to adjust servos or center them or just to check them. But another thing you can use a servo tester for, it's not even mentioned on the website but you can absolutely do it, is use a servo tester to test both speed controllers and motors and of a variety of size. So we're going to dive into that right now as I give you this tips bench Tuesday on checking motors and ESCs with a servo tester. So let's go. All right, so here we go. We're, we're getting straight into it and we're going straight onto the bench. You have to excuse the setup, but it's just myself here today. Really am all on my own out here at the field. Now a standard servo tester. Here's our Turnergy uh, servo tester. You got the uh, power supply, in this case, a six volt uh, Turnergy battery, the servo tester, and a servo. Now I've got it on manual mode, which is what its default setting is. And as you can see, as I turn the dial, the servo moves. Now, what you didn't know perhaps, is that you can use a speed controller like this one here, not only to power the um, servo tester, but also to drive uh, the, the motor and operate the ESC in the manual mode. So this is the manual mode and you would just operate it like you would the servo. So let's get started with how to use a servo tester as a uh, checker for motors and speed controllers. And it's a very simple affair. So first of all, you take the servo out. This is what we're looking to uh, perform the job with. I have, uh, I'll use the smaller motor to start with. This is just a spare motor I have. It's an Aerostar motor. And I would first of all plug the uh, motor in. Now this is, what you can also use the servo checker for is for checking the direction of a motor, for example. So if I get that here, now this is weighted down on a piece of wood. I'm not gonna uh, give it so much power, so it's not particularly dangerous, but I would recommend that you secure this to the bench somehow. Now, um, you take, this is the important thing, you take your servo lead from the speed controller and you don't put it into the power side of it, you actually put it into the servo side of it. So you push in here, like so, making sure you know they're connected the right way around. You want to bring this all the way down to its minimum. So I've actually, if you look at the uh, the dial here, I've with a little bit of a highlight pen, I've highlighted the arrow so you can see it. So that's its maximum, that will be full throttle. You want to break it down or bring it down all the way down to its minimum. Now automatically when you apply power, it will go into manual mode, which is exactly what you want. So I've got a battery in this case with a um, XT60. I'll move everything else out of the way. And I plug this in here. Now, you need to hear the arming tone. So to do that, you would normally need to uh, move the dial just a little bit. But in this case, it actually happened that uh, it was on point straight away. So now if you can see this all properly here, what I'm gonna do is just slowly move the dial. There we go. You'll see that the motor starts to turn. So this is a great trick because you can actually both check speed controllers and motors using a simple servo tester. Now to give you a demonstration of how it works on bigger motors, same principle, it's just bigger components. Okay, so here we are. We've got a uh, Turner G G160 motor um, plugged in and a Aerostar 80 amp and I'm using a 4S with a XT60. Uh, as you can see there. Now, same principle, I've plugged it in, I've armed it. Now, what I wanna do here is also check for the rotation of the uh, of the motor. It's a worthwhile thing to check rotation, especially before you install the wires and uh, motor into a model. So you can do that again, same principle. So it works just as it does before. You turn the dial, motor starts to turn. You can turn it up really high if you want. You don't really need to, and it's recommended that you wouldn't. If you just wanna check the speed controller on the motor, this is very good for this. Now, watch this, I'm gonna turn that down. Just my finger, I'll see. See, it's going in the wrong direction for me. So, I want it turning the way it should do. So I just unplug the speed controller. Two wires, well, that's all you need to do is just reverse two of the uh, wire connections. And now you will see that the motor is turning in the correct uh, um, rotation. 
So there we have it, a very short and sweet uh, tip spence Tuesday, but a worthwhile one because really a little tool like this, the servo tester, is a very, very versatile little thing. Not only is it good for testing servo, it's also good for testing motors and ESCs. Now, of course, I will stress that the uh, the speed controllers and the motors I, I've used behind me for the purpose of this demonstration, of course, aren't perfectly matched in terms of uh, what's recommended for, say, for example, motors of that size. But in terms of the demonstration to show you how you can use a um, servo tester to check motors and ESCs, it's worthwhile for the demonstration. Now, before I go, I've got one little tip. So it's an, two tips in this Tip Spence Tuesday. Now, um, I have to reposition the camera and I'll show you what I mean. Give me a second. All right, so here's this final little tip for you. Um, as you see, plugged in, um, when you first come on, it's on manual mode. Now, these LEDs are excellent because they show you the manual mode, the neutral mode, and the auto mode, which means manual, you can adjust the servo manually. Neutral, it just neutrals uh, the, the servo, so it's in neutral position. Or auto just makes it move uh, throughout its range automatically. However, the one drawback with this uh, particular uh, servo checker is that these LEDs are rather bright. Now, look at the difference here. Manual, you'll notice, is a bit dimmer, but neutral and auto in real life, actually a little bit glaring and blinding in the eye. I'll try and move it around so you can see it a bit more there. So, second tip of this Tip Spence Tuesday, get my trusty silver marker pen. You'll remember this from the Yak Weathering video. And what you want to do is just go over those uh, tops of those LEDs. And what you should see now, if I scroll through the other options, you can see they are no longer blinding, but just a nice, uh, far more easier on the eye light for you guys so that's the second tip of this tip spence tuesday bring the camera back if you can see me you yeah, have to zoom out a bit you don't want to see my aging face so yes tip spence tuesday very short one this time two tips in this one uh, primarily it's how to use a servo tester to test motors and speed controllers so thank you very much for watching please like and, like and subscribe comment sun's coming out now which is great because i've got some test flying of some new models that may be coming early next year for you guys so until then i'll see you later bye bye Oh, <laughs>